Now we are concentrating a little bit more on the analysis um, of the reports. Uh, we zoomed in already and we saw that there are a lot of reports available. For example, when we've played already a couple of periods, so in this case two periods, and we are before uh, the decision-making process of period number three, we have this period zero, zero, one and two available. Maybe we zoom in into the basic report. This is the report where everybody is starting with. You see in uh, this game we are playing um, in Estonia, in Europe and the US market. We have again two products, beer and vodka. And we saw in the marketing field the decisions uh, are placed here uh, on this first sheet telling us the starting price. We have we can also see in period zero which, with which decision we, dis, uh, we started and we can also see the decisions in the financial field. So there was no marketing report or that no rationalization has been executed and the short term credit uh, has been 50 million euros. Um, when we continue now uh, we see a couple of additional information. First thing we look uh, to the effects. In the effects you see that we are starting with a price index or inflation index of 100%. Um, the index can change according to the pricing of the companies and they can change uh, differently in different groups. So if for example in one uh, group the companies are rather following a high price strategy then the price index goes up and this applies to all prices um, like raw material or also machineries, uh, salaries and so on. If the majority is focusing on a low price strategy then uh, the price level goes down. We see the initial prices in period zero uh, for the external production, so when you buy out from outside beer or vodka you have to pay 3 or respectively 10 euros for the um, products you buy from outside. You see the initial prices for raw material, for machines, you see the prices uh, for workers, so this means the wages uh, are described here in the wages part, but and, and then you see when you recruit workers or you fire workers, this is money that you have to pay for recruiting or uh, a social brand respectively. And then you see some fundamental financial analysis figures that we don't consider now. It's a special thing. Then you are able, you can see here, to keep track of, con uh, of contribution margins of the different uh, products like beer and vodka. Uh, on the different markets, we only zoom in for the, for example, for the beer market. You can also take on the account, uh, or you can zoom in a little bit more intensively in in, in the other diagrams. Here you can see um, the contribution margin per unit, so how high these contribution margins are on the different markets and in the average. And you can see how it's calculated, this means how the turnover is distributed, how high the contribution margin is and uh, how high uh, then the activities um, on the different markets from the uh, marketing mix are. Um, you can see also uh, how your turnover is distributed among the different uh, fields of decision and activities. For example, you see here uh, how high the marketing mix is uh, compared to the turnover. You see how high uh, the available contribution margin is after taking an, under account the marketing activities. So this means the marketing budget. And you can see uh, how internally uh, the money is distributed among the different cost categories and at the end uh, which contribution margin you reach uh, when you want to come to the profit you have to take under account the financial result. 
Um, you see some sales statistics. Um, there is a tool, it's called Test Sales. It will be usually available for you in the game. And you see, according to your marketing activities, how high, so in, in which limits or intervals your uh, sales should have been. So, for example, when it comes uh, to the beer market uh, in European Union, uh, according to your marketing mix, you should have uh, sold around 3 million units of beer in the European market and this is exactly the figure that you reach. If there are big differences appearing here means that other, co uh, other companies make mistakes so you took over <coughs> um, uh, additional sales volume from other companies or you made mistakes so that they were not able to deliver on the market. The same appears for vodka and at the end it everything is evaluated in uh, currency, this means this is, these are the turnover figures. You can see uh, the different markets research reports, but you have to take under account that uh, in the future you will, you will see these reports only if you pay for them, so in the finance mask you have to make the decisions for a certain report. You can decide each period again if you want to buy the information about other companies or not. So, but this is only the structure how it looks like. <clears throat> then we look to the uh, production report. Here you can see important figures how high uh, the maximum capacity is, how many units you use of this uh, use capacity, and uh, the percentage is then the utilization of a, or operational degree or the use capacity and uh, according to this use capacity you have to fix the maintenance rate like I told you already. Uh, you can see how many uh, units of beer and vodka you planned and reached if there is a gap. The gap usually appears first in the vodka field. Uh, you know that you have miscalculated your the available capacity or the maintenance rate is too low. And then you see here some production figures which are related more to the experience curve effect as more as you produce by yourself, as lower your, the cost level is or you have a decrease in costs. All the time you double the production volume, you lower the cost between 7 and 8 percent. So this is the experience curve. In fact, this is implemented here. And the pro uh, production matrix expresses how many uh, machine capacity you need for the production of uh, the two products. Um, if you increase the accumulated internal production, this figures will decrease and the labor production of the teams will increase because uh, with the experience you behave more uh, efficiently. So this means here you can see in, in which level you are. This is important. These figures are important to calculate the number of workers you need and the number of raw material and so on. Everything is described in the manual again. Uh, like we mentioned already, we have three types of machines. All these machines are placed uh, in machine machine records or files. And there you can see how many machines are available, how long you can work with them. And you see other important figures like uh, purchasing price and uh, depreciation and other things. A very important sheet is uh, related to the personal de development because you can see here the number of available workers in the beginning of the period. You see the number of workers which are employed uh, at the end of the period and the available workers means these are the workers which can really work uh, because you have, like you saw in the introduction, there can be differences because not all workers which are who are employed uh, can be used in the production. These are the available workers because some of them left already or the others are ill. And the required workers, they are telling you 
um, how many workers would have been necessary for realizing the production volume. You see, uh, you have too many in this in the starting position. You have too many skilled workers and not enough uh, unskilled workers or semi-skilled workers. Then you see all the figures, the development of the workers and the evaluation of the workers. What it means in, in, in currency, uh, for example, these gaps or uh, the um, overcapacity and all the things, they are calculated for you by the computer. You can uh, consider them here in this page number 10. Um, stock keeping tells you how many final products you have on the market at the end of the preceding period. and. Um, you, you only have to deliver the difference to, uh, to the needed uh, volume that you need for sales um, by taking under account the already existing um, figures in the final inventory. You have also full costs and direct cost figures calculated by the machine for the different products on the different markets. And you also see the inventory uh, of the raw material and how many units you needed the last period. Uh, then here are some um, tables concerning the financial reports, so the flow of funds. This is something you should um, consider by yourself. Uh, you see here all the positions um, that which, which are touching financial streams and you can see here how in the last period uh, this position changed. Uh, then you see here in this uh, payment behavior you see the hard figures for example what it means. Uh, how the customers paid and um, how the uh, different options uh, are evaluated. So when you delay, what delayed uh, uh, amounts of payment uh, were well worth in, 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 in interest uh, rates. Then you see uh, how the situation is for the short term investments, how the interest rates are for uh, loans and credits. And you see uh, the list of all long-term loans which are existing in the company. In this case you start with one long-term load which is has a, still a payback time of 18 uh, periods. The last thing, last two things are uh, related to the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a normal balance sheet which is built up like you know from the financial lectures. Important for the gamers that additional liquidity that you have available uh, will be placed in the cash on uh, the cash in in the bank. So if you have too much uh, liquidity here, uh, you have you you have to decide what you do with the liquidity. If you put it on short-term investments or you reduce the debts. In this case, you have an overdraft. The second buffer position of about 10 million uh, euros. This means there's 50,000 uh, euros. 50 million euros short term uh, credits uh, is too low, so you needed about 60 million. And since you needed more than the negotiated with the bank, uh, the difference was placed in the overdraft, which is really expensive. Uh, you can also see the income statement, where in two different forms uh, the income statement is. Uh, presented. You see uh, a, summary, a cost uh, summary method or the cost 
of sales method. This is more the English version or the Anglo-Saxon version where you only focus on the sales, whereas on the con in continental Europe you also have the possibility to take in the, under account changes uh, in, in important positions. At the end, the result must be the same and you can see how the positions are built up. Um, the last um, document which is part of the reporting is dedicated to uh, cost accounting. Um, there you see for example for beer, for vodka, how special uh, costs which are important for the production process and, 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 the, and the, the, uh, for, for selling, how they are placed. Uh, on the two products so you get ideas if it's important to change for example the marketing mix according to different products or uh, how the social costs or other things are uh, influencing or observed, observed by the two products. So these are the main uh, information about the reports. Now it's up to you to analyze the reports and according to the reports uh, you should try to figure out which are the areas uh, of the decision-making process that can improve the situation of your company.